Hello, my name is Travis Brown and today I'm going to be making a primitive sewing kit and the first part is already done. I've got um, sinew from my deer that I killed last fall and that's what I'm going to use as my thread. I've got a couple bones that I found out on my personal space. I'm going to use these as an awl and then I'm going to use the other one to make a couple needles out of. So stay with me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these bones and I'm going to score it in a couple places. Just a piece of flint. So I'm going to score it in on one end and I'm going to come down and score on the other end snap it off so stay with me. Alright so I've scored the ends with a piece of flint. I've, I've scored opposite ends. You see, you see those. And then I scored along the lateral edge here and on this side too. So let's try to break it. See if we can break it right where we want it. That'll work. So this is what we got. So I'm going to take a piece of sandstone here. We're going to shape it. So I'm going to do some shaping on this on the sandstone. And I'll get back to you. Alright, so I've been grinding on this for a little while. And this is where I'm at so far. So a little bit about bone. That inside spongy bone is called uh, cancellous bone and it's not really good for anything, it's just spongy and soft. The outside is cortical bone and it's pretty hard. So if you're going to make a tool, you don't want to use your knife to be cutting bone. You want to use an axe blade or, or a saw or something, it'll just dull your knife up. You can cut it, but it'll dull your knife up and you want to keep your knife pretty sharp. So remember, you want that cortical bone it's the hard bone so as we're gonna keep on working and I'll I'll get back to you all right so I finished my all here's what it looks like and I got a scrap piece of leather here I'm testing it out and it looks like it's gonna do pretty well coming through there Some little holes. Now, it makes the holes good enough, I can put my sinew through there. So at this point, my sewing kit's almost done. I need to make some needles, but uh, the needles aren't really necessary if you've got some good sinew. You can just push it through those holes, they're, they're big enough, they're plenty big enough. You can sew with it, but I'm going to go ahead and make a couple needles to go with this kit, and then... 
So at this point, so at this point, my sewing kit's almost done. I'm gonna make some needles, but you know they're not really necessary, like I said. So I'm gonna fracture this one, and I'm gonna make a couple needles and see how they turn out. This one's, this one's almost done right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna file those down a little bit with my sandstone here, and then I'll get back to you. So I've got this needle <clears throat> sanded down quite a bit, and I got a flat spot on the end. I'm gonna try to put a hole in it now. And what I've done is I've lashed this piece of flint that I'm going to use as a drill bit on the end here. So let's see if we can get a hole started. This is what I got so far. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to finish the hole and then I'm going to send it down a little bit more. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll get back. So I ended up switching to this little hand drill I'm using and moving it one side and the other. And I'm, I've gotten all the way through now. See, I got a hole now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep shaping my needle and take some, take some more off. It's a little wide, so I'll keep doing that, and then I'll get back. All right. So I got, I got this needle done. So I'm gonna put some sinew in it. I'll make another one and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so I finished my sewing kit. Uh, I've got my awl and I've got two needles. This needle, the uh, second needle I made, actually broke at the eye when I was drilling it out. So when you're using a hand drill, try not to put too much pressure. It just it takes a while to do it. So I just just gotta be really careful. So I had to go down another quarter inch, eighth inch, and uh, put another eye in it. So it's shorter than the other one. I'm not, I'm not as happy as I am with the first one, but it'll get the job done. So there's my primitive sewing kit. Thank you.